Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jarvis, the Hero. Welcome you back to some more Saga Lock. Hopefully y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, it is late right now. You guys are about to get like a lot of stuff um, coming at you, so I apologize in advance. Um, you guys probably won't see this episode very much because uh, this episode gets up really, really late because I was just hanging out, having a good time, doing my thing, watching the Seahawks lose, which is fine. It's whatever. I anticipated it, so it's like I kind of mentally prepared myself for that to happen. I don't know. If you guys are sports fans, do you guys do that? Like, of course, you hope your team wins and you want your team to win because you support your team, but like you just mentally prepare yourself. You're like, honestly... I don't, I'm not feeling it. Like, I think that our team is going to be upset. Like, that kind of thing. Like, do you guys ever do that? Like, I need to know that it's not just me. Even though, like, because a lot of people will, like, say that, like, that's not being a real fan. And I'm like, being realistic is not being real. Like, I feel like that's being more than just expecting everything to go right and perfect and splendid and all the other things that people expect because <laughs> I swear like people expect the silliest things sometimes and you're just like do you watch sports do you know how this works are you are you grasping the situation at hand like are we that's a legitimate question and sometimes you gotta think about that with people because you're like y'all you understand that this is a year that we're supposed to not be great right and everybody's just like fire this person this person's bad and it's like okay but no thank you um no that's not how this works. It's called a rebuilding year in which we have been competitive in two of our games this season. We were not competitive against the 49ers, but to be honest, the 49ers beat our butts and we were on the road. It was not looking good. And I, it, it, I predicted us to win that game. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, I'm gonna just be honest. I was wrong on that one on so many levels because I'm just so used to Seattle dominating uh, San Francisco because in the Wilson era um, They were 16 and 4 Against San Francisco. So in my head was still in okay 16 and 4 in the last 10 years It's fine. Like that's a reasonable pick. Yeah, no <laughs> No, it's not. Um, things change when you don't have a superstar quarterback. Although, speaking of things changing, it's been very interesting to look at and see the Broncos as a whole. Because they're realistically not doing that great um, on the year. And I don't... Oh. That's not good. Um, so I don't know how they're going to do or what they're going to do, but yeah. So the reason why I said that that's not good is this is a physical threat that can absolutely body my team. I'm ready for the Swords Dance or Dragon Dance to pop up. Oh, that's an outrage. That's an outrage from a Haxorus. That's going to hurt. That hurt a lot. Um, hmm. A crit basically kills everything anyone on this team I think if troll couldn't take that hit I think that's what that meant 69 defense wow you do not have the defense I thought you did okay so oogle blip would take it the same Cacturn gets blown back um Lopany's defenses are better but HP is not and siren has massive physical I actually I'm gonna go to siren sirens physical defense is way 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 better But I don't have anything to really tank or do anything. We'll see how much damage this does. Just under half, and you did not get confused. Shoot! Um, it did 55 points of damage. <sighs> I 
So it could do five point up to seven if that was a min roll. Shoop nougats. Um, I'm not in the business of risking siren, so I am going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and super potion. Because that gets me out of the bulk of trouble. So that was an important rule to see. Because we were seven points lower. And that only that was a six point differential. Which means that the other roll was a higher roll than this one. Um so then I can theoretically I could soak and be fine. Because the that last one did 49 points of damage. And we're about to make this unstab. Which my butt nugget didn't think about that because uh yeah, I didn't think it was faster. That's really the pro that's really the case. I didn't think it was faster. I'm surprised that I'm faster. But I didn't think I was faster, so that if I knew I was faster, I would have clicked that immediately, um, because that that's a fifty percent boost right then and there. To, so good to know that we oh you actually had healing items. You abalone and finch. I mean, I, that sucks. Actually, that really does suck hard. Dragon Claw. That's gonna do less. That's gonna do a significant less, significantly less. Cool. Axorus is down. But yeah, so good to know. I mean, si here's the thing about Siren. Siren is the physical tank. It's it's just no questions asked. If you need a physical tank, that's Siren and Siren only, basically. Um, that can do that. That's why Sandshrew is kind of an important possibility on our team. Is Sandshrew is also a physical defense mon, but also has the same weaknesses plus ice um, that Siren does. Or no, 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 I lied. Uh, electric immunity, which is going to help significantly. But, again, it's, it's how far and how much am I willing to trust this team. And... Honestly, I am willing to trust it to a very high degree. It's just... It's scary because spawns like this. <laughs> like, we are at the forced fully evolved point in this game. And that is changing a lot of things. And making a lot of things and decisions and thought processes way harder than they were before. Um, and especially when we're going against another really good physical attacker and braviary like that's not helping luckily you're not attacking us physically you're attacking especially which means that we should be okay but yeah when we have physical attackers that can attack and just slash and be slashers just like a barbarian in dnd &D, it's scary it's sketchy i'm just glad that we haven't run into like the tanks yet yeah, the the physical tanks the ones that can tank physical hits, but, and can deal physical damage, and is decent enough, especially, to make be a problem. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, I have the spinner. An earth plate. I'll take that. Oh, boy. I'm trying to, like, find the spin pattern. It's not working very well. Hi, Maple. You're another grass type. I'm glad I didn't catch you. Uh, okay, spin, spin, spin. Yeah, I, I actually don't know if I had to fight you or not. I think you might have been optional, but... Holy Toledo! That's another annoying Pokemon. This is annoying. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Go to Siren. What am I doing? Siren literally takes fire moves because it's quad resistant to them. Um... <laughs> Eruption. That's going to be fine. That does, like... 10 damage or 12 damage, something like that. Oh, that did not even close. Ah, I probably should have actually aqua ringed on that, but I guess that's fine. That's also fine. 
right? Yeah, that just slows us down, which is okay. It's okay enough, I should say. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. Okay enough. Oogle Blip, level 50, 43. We're down with that. Work. Ooh. Oogle Blip, you're not helping. You are not helping, Oogle Blip. Work up is such a decent move. That is. That'll help your special attack be even better. But do I want to prioritize your attacking prowess? Or do I like the fact that you can amnesia and set up and be a special wall? I feel like... You're a grass type, right? Your strengths should lie in the special zone. But your attack or your defense. I haven't used Amnesia very much, but do I think or anticipate that I'm going to use Workup at all? I mean, that's the thing. I could, if I can anticipate healing items being utilized, I can use Workup, gain the attack, but I can also do the same thing with Amnesia, too. I'm going to keep Amnesia. Workup is nice. If it was curious, that's exactly what I was, that's where I'm looking for. If that was curious, jump off? No. We are, uh, swap-a-doodling on that one. Um, if it was jump off, or not jump off, if it was curious, I would have done it. Because curious, getting an attack buff and a defense buff is a mis attack, mixed attacker. If I can prioritize and figure that out, like, that makes myself infinitely stronger. In cases like this, it does not. Um, I like prioritizing defense. Defense wins championships. Um, like, I mean, of course you need a supporting, you can have a supporting role in an offense, but if you have a stout defense and can't be killed, you're fine. Um, you can be broken through as it's not a 100% reliable strategy, but I feel like it's more reliable than being able to be a, a, a slow on offense. Like, if I was a, if I was fast, Cool, fine, go for it. I'm not fast. I'm a very slow Pokemon, so I have to rely on picking my picking and choosing when I set up, and so that does make a difference in how I feel about the team. So I do think my team is a decent team. I just think it's just super wonky, wonky. Raikou, that's something I'm okay with using Oogle Blip to fight. I'm actually going to Amnesia. As you use a physical move. Great. Um, but that's, I mean, it's not very effective. It's doing like 18 points of damage. Okay. Uh, that, okay, Ugo Blip. That did 80 points of damage. What are you doing? I get that that's a Raikou, but not very effective. Did 80 points of damage? Like, are you kidding me right now, Ugo Blip? 80. 80. That's a lot, Ugo Blip. Like, you cannot be letting people do that much damage to you, my guy. Or my girl, my lad. Can you miss one, please? That's 85 accuracy. Over here, just not missing at all. Okay, like be fought, be that way. Oh, um, over at the Pokemon World Tournament, we have Calm Mind available to us. I was debating trying to attain it. Um, and I'm wondering if I should or not, and if I do, which Pokemon to put it on, because I don't get to see what Pokemon learn it. So the thing is, is I can't just look through my, uh, my little document, uh, because that's gone now. 
Um, I only get to see it like the first time I look through it. And what I mean by that is I get to literally just see what new abilities these Pokemon get. Um, and that's not doing much, actually. I thought that Raikou was dead. Um, so yeah, so I don't get to see any of that. I just get to see the abilities um, and nothing else. So I don't know if I want to go and spend the time getting all those battle points if the point of it is going to go away. Like... I don't know. Do you guys get what I'm putting down? Because I feel like... I feel like it's a tough, tough spot to be in. Because it's like, I want my points, and I want to be able to utilize what I've got. But I also don't want to go spend the work, spend the time, spend all the effort. If the expenditure and or the the reward of it is way less than the expenditure or what I'm putting into it. Because for all I know, because of the way I randomized it, that TM can't be learned by said Pokemon that I want to learn it. And it's like, okay. I mean, and the other thing, too, that you could, um, cur like, relate to it is, well, there's a kill episode coming up in two episodes from now. After this, you have this, the other episode, the one that's going out, like, right after the other episode, and then the episode after that. So it's like, do I want to spend the time getting the HM if it's gonna or the TM if it's not going to be directly beneficial I mean like yeah I could I'm not saying that I couldn't also don't you have intimidate or something that was a previous game okay you don't have it now so it's like it's a hard thing to think about because like I could do one of two things and employ one of two options but I don't know which one to employ and which one will be better and how that's gonna work and what's yeah so like I don't know I personally think that what would be better is um, not in waiting for the kill episode to happen because that could change my entire sphere and perspective on what's happening and what's to come. But it's also like, okay, like how well, how long am I willing to wait for said things to transpire and to happen? And I feel like I'm willing to wait a decent amount. But it's like, ugh, it's a tough, it's tough calls and tough decisions that you gotta debate. There's a lot of debate that goes on. Ah, ha, 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 ha. There's a lot of debate that goes on when it comes to this game and how you want to operate things. And Jesus, Louise, that's a Garchomp. That's another terrifying dragon type that I don't know how I want to deal with. Great. Uh, I'm going to slash first and see what you do. Dual chop. That's... How much damage does that do to Snorlax? That doesn't actually do as much as I thought it was going to. That also doesn't do a lot either. Um, I'm going to stay in because I don't think the dual chop will kill. I think Lazy Larry can handle this. I'm gonna heal though because that's a roll a roll to kill Lazy Larry from this stage. Oh, Dragon Tail, I'm forced out anyway. <laughs> Who am I getting swapped out into? Oogle Blip. Okay, Oogle Blip. Um Take it on, you got this. Let's Go, Oogle Blip. Freaking, what are, I don't know what got into you this evening, but you go, girl. Like, take it, take it up, take it, like, you can take all of the freaking stuff that you want to, 
fertilizer, seeds, you know, your sunflower, all the sun, soak it in, have a nice tanning session tomorrow, like, you do you, Ooblip, like, jeez, you should not be coming in this clutch, but here you are, just deciding to be a god today, um, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, sometimes they do that. Like, the Pokemon are just like, I'm just gonna be a god right now. And I'm just like, okay then. Like, you do that. I can't run away from a freaking Magikarp, and it has judgment. I get that you're judging me, and then you're confusing me. But, like, Magikarp, why? <laughs> you don't have to do this. Magic. I don't have... Wait, I do have... I do... I do have Fly. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I have fly, so let me see if I can fly on Venary. <laughs> because I think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. I was like, I think they changed it. Because in the first game, you couldn't do that. And it was dumb. In my humble opinion, it was very dumb that you could not fly from that spot. I was like, bro, why? Okay. Um, also, this is, I think... I think once we talk to the Mr. Alton Gym Leader, that this is that would be a great time to end. Because knowing me and knowing the gym and the way it works, my dumb blood is gonna be like, so by the way, I'm being dumb. Hello. You can also carry passengers now. Hey, do you have a flying or psychic type Pokemon with you? Too bad. I need a flying or psychic type to help me out. Well, oh, I don't know what I get from that. I'm, I feel like I'm, I, I'm gonna lose that Pokemon forever, so I have to be careful. It's not gonna be part of my team. My team does not get impacted by that. But I'm gonna see what it is because I do have a Wingle that is part flying type. And if I have to give away my Wingle, I'm not gonna be mad. Like, it's not gonna bother me to let go of a Wingle for whatever I'm getting for this. Watch it be literally nothing and I'm like, bruh. Also, where in the world is the Mistralton City Gym Leader like? Oh, Wingle is with you. Would you help me get some luggage that's too high for me to reach? Thanks, here's a little something for helping me out. Here's some net balls. You know what? That was worth it. That was so worth it. I mean, it was a Wingle, and Wingle is now served a use. And will have served its only use in this series to get me net balls that help me catch bug and flying type Pokemon and water type Pokemon. So thank you, Wingle, because I definitely don't need more water types on my team, Wingle. But you know what? I gotta admire you for trying at least. You got me at least. <laughs> you got me stuff to help me catch bug type Pokemon, which is what I'm gonna use that for because holy hell, our Pokemon are limited. Um, but where in the world is Mr. Alton City's gym leader? That becomes the real question. Like, can I just hop, pop right into the gym? Oh. I can just pop right in the gym. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Bye. Have a... <laughs> Hopefully you all have a wonderful day. I know that was a weird exit, but... I'm going to leave it off on here because I like the music, but let's see. What is her ace? I, I'll find that out, I guess, off screen. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.